Hello and welcome to the Silverlight channel and we're back. We're back. Back as in back. We're making videos again. Just uh, so hard, man. You know, making videos with this freaking corned beef 19, quarantine, and uh, some school shit. And I can't really focus much. You know, I, I, I can't balance school and YouTube shit. So I focused, I, I focused on the school, but we're back. We're gonna, and this video is about the summer 2020 anime review. Yeah, we're 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 doing this again. Yeah, I I, I did it once. This this winter anime 2018 2019 review. We're gonna do it again because I really enjoyed uh, making those videos, and I really love some anime. And we're gonna. Well, I I I'm I haven't really watched that much. I, anime lately i only watched the series yesterday Wotate, which is really nice i kind of don't like the ending though i'm not gonna spoil it so you should just watch it it's a very um adult anime not 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 that nasty adult you know they were the, were the yeah, where, where, where they're doing that no that that's a different adult anime but uh, adult i meant um more of a uh more of a mature uh plot line yeah but and i Enough with that. We're gonna we're gonna see what we're gonna watch on for, on the summer 2020 anime. So we're just gonna review what anime is gonna come out and 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 if we're gonna watch it or drop it or just drop it or watch it or gonna ignore it because it's trash. That's it. It's trash. For me, so if you want to, if you don't want your your feelings to be hurt, just apply some lotion of your ass, you know, some lotion up there. Just just put it like that. Oh, no room for butt hurts here. That's my opinion. You you, you can have your own opinion. So we're gonna continue with the anime. It's a lotion anime. It's gonna rub it. Is it old? How old is this? Ain't scared of you. So we're gonna start with um this the Re Zero, Re Zero Re Re Zero Kara Hajimaru Isekai Seikatsu second season baby yeah this is the season two for the, the Re Zero anime which if if you haven't watched the first season just skip this part of the video um and just proceed with the next one if you are yeah that's that's why there's some spoiler warning for the season one because if you haven't seen the season one I highly recommend. Check it out because it's really this. Uh, I think the cream. Ah, I tasted the cream, man. Duh, what the? F yeah, if, if if you haven't watched season one, I recommend it. So just watch it. And I'm gonna click the spoilers now. Uh huh. Uh, you know you you can still skip this part. Okay, I'm still gonna do it. Okay, so this the sec. Uh, what? So it's half half like twelve and twelve. Oh, there's no specific episode, so... Okay, so it's a two-core thing. Yeah, part one. So, how many episodes does the part one have? I'm gonna guess just 12 or something. 12 or 14. On, on that range, because that's what they're doing. Um, yeah, that's really a bummer, but I guess that's... that's in, 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 order for the in order for the light novel to buffer, they're doing that. So we're gonna read the synopsis. Even after dying countless times, Subaru finally ended the threat of the white whale and defeated the witch called Sin, Archbishop representing Sloth, Pilgus. I thought I actually thought it's Beetlejuice. I guess it's Pilgus, Pilgus, Romaniconti. Yeah, I, I, I remember that last name. That's the. Oh yeah, it's the my brain trembles guy. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, he defeated that guy, and we're gonna continue, I guess. But the short of the ending that reunited with his beloved, beloved Emilia, so Bell learns that Rem has been erased from this world, and having fallen victim to the White Whale's fog of elimination in the midst of Subaru's death loop. Yeah, the, the meme, the I love Emilia meme, and Rem disappeared, uh, Subaru's death loop. With the White Whale now gone, Subaru and Emilia are forced to confront a reality they never dreamed would happen. So Rem is gone here. I'm gonna guess they're not gonna, you know, they're, they're not gonna fix the Rem situation on part one, or they're gonna fix it at the last 
episode and it's, it's gonna fall on the cliffhanger. Uh, yeah, we're, I'm I'm gonna make sure to watch that the season two part one. So stay, I'm gonna watch that, and this is gonna be on my freaking. I would watch this shit list. Okay, next one is the Sword Art Online Alicization War of Underworld two. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm. I'm kind of burned out on Sword Art Online. I didn't really. I'm not. I'm not feeling the hype for it, you know. But I watched the first part of the War of the Underworld. I still haven't finished it, so I'm gonna finish the War of the Underworld uh, part one first, and we're gonna continue with this one. So we're gonna wait. Uh, oh wait, I, I, I didn't. I think I only watched the Alicization, Alicization part. I, I think I haven't watched the War of the Underworld yet. Yeah, I only watched up to the point where uh, there's gonna be a spoiler, but you you can you know you know click on the right arrow button three times or two times. Um, yeah, I stopped on the part where the where Kirito's friend, the the other guy, uh, was brainwashed or shit, yeah, like that. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not gonna watch that yet. I'm gonna finish the I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the other previous series first so we're gonna continue with NN no Shobotai NN no Shobotai yeah if, if, if you don't know this the fire force fire force series I really liked it and uh no I think I'm yeah I'm not watching I'm not reading the manga of this but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it yeah because I really like the first season of the anime and I think the manga is really far up far out okay yeah uh, I'm gonna watch it if it comes out and it's gonna arrive. Oh, it's soon. It's 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 just four hours away. So I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it if it's if it premieres. So, on to the next one. It's the oh yeah ah yes Hachiman is back, baby. It's the Yahari Ori no Seishun Lab Comedy wa Machigateru Kan. Okay, so it's the Origairu or the. My teen romantic comedy snafu. It, it, it's the third season, so I'm gonna watch this. Um, so if you haven't watched the Origairu seasons or the snafu seasons, uh, I, I I highly recommend checking out the first one. But if you if you haven't watched it, I'm gonna read the synopsis. Uh, My teen romantic comedy snafu returns with a series long awaited conclusion. Conclusion. Oh, oh, of the nail, oh, yeah, of the nail biting and cliffhanger ending of season two. Yeah, I think I, I think he's supposed to pick one of the girls. N the Iroha is not included. The, the third one, I think he's, he's only supposed to pick b between these two, and I kind of know who 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 he picked, since I kind of spoiled myself. But just just watch it. You know, it's it's gonna be good. Uh, much of Hachiman, Yuki no Yui won't be easily expressed, and as the members of the service club band together to host a school, I thought that's porn, man. God damn it, prom. They will have to put their feelings into words and truly learn to understand each other at long last. If the service club can even stay afloat, that is. So I'm gonna uh, obviously gonna watch that. Up next is the Shokugeki no, Shokugeki no Soma, Go no Sara. I'm currently reading the manga of this. I know the manga is already finished. But I'm 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 still I'm still reading it. But yeah, I, I already know how it ends. So, and and uh, and I haven't watched season three. I guess See, is this season three the train shit? But I still haven't watched those, and I'm not gonna watch this for now. I'm gonna put it on considering, since I still haven't watched the previous seasons. I'm gonna watch it and gonna move on to this. But so I'm gonna I'm just gonna read the synopsis. So must now move up to. Great, and he's finally grasped what he has hoped for. The first seat of the Totsuki Ten Masters is kind of spoiler. What the fuck? Where's the original spoiler blockage? Huh? Assholes. Oh, yeah, well, it's it's continuing, so. In the meantime, in the village to blue, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I think there were, these were his, bro spoiler warning. Just click, click that arrow button two times. It's where his brother will arrive, I think. So, I'm not gonna, shoo, shoo, I'm not gonna watch it yet. So we're gonna move on to the next series. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really liking this song that that's playing on the background right now. It's by Minami. Um, she's the one who sang the domestic da kanojo um, opening song, which is really. Hmm. We're gonna move on to the next series. The God of High School. Yes, God of High School. It's a, it's a Korean manhwa, I think. Yeah, 
And it ends about the freaking and and the guys using taekwondo, I guess. Yeah, a uh, very unorthodox taekwondo, I think. I still haven't read that much into the manhwa, but I think I really liked it when I read it. But I still haven't continued it. I know, I know. Why, if you liked it, why do you continue reading it? <laughs> well, because I don't have the time. I'm still, I'm also reading other series. I'm still waiting for that solo leveling shit. Where the fuck is a new season, man? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna read the synopsis. It's a this anime is action, of course, adventure, comedy, fantasy, martial art, sci-fi, and supernatural. Okay, Jin Mori has proclaimed himself the strongest high schooler. His life changes when he's invited to participate in God of High School, a tournament to determine the strongest high schooler of all. He's told that if you if if he if he wins, any wish he makes will be granted. All the participants are powerful contenders. Who fight their hardest for their own wishes. What awaits them at the end of the tournament? Question mark. A chaotic battle between unbelievably strong high school students is about to begin. Uh, okay, so yeah. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. And I'm, and I'm gonna continue reading the manga when I finish watching it. Since uh, they're, they're probably gonna, not gonna finish the, the whole series. Because the manga is not yet finished, I think. So yeah. It's, yeah and, 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 and it's only 13 episodes. Yeah, I really like they're adapting lots of manwas now. Yeah, and I really hope they they adapt freaking solo leveling. That that shit's god tier. Yeah, they and they they also adapted uh, Tower of God Kaminoto or well I don't know why why they call it Kaminoto, but Ka yeah the Tower of God. It's a it's also a Korean manwa or you know Korean manwa. I, I think that's the it's also a manwa the Korean one. And I really liked it. I, I, I kind of didn't feel the first season. I, I know. Wait. I kind of didn't feel the animation re regarding the Tower of God anime. I think it's really rough. But I guess it's an acquired taste uh, for some people. Yeah. Since since I saw fucking critical rated as eighty percent or. 90, I don't know. The visuals are unlike anything I've seen before. It's like they took a fucking sketchbook and just animated that directly without like translating it to any other medium. It It is stunning. I was a bit lukewarm on it initially because I was like, wow, this is different, you know. I don't know if I like different yet. And then by the end of it, I was like, shit, maybe I'm going to put some fingers in my butthole just to experience more different shit. Because I fucking loved it. It really grew on me. Plugging Tower of God into the moist meter, I'm giving this bad boy a 90%. I think this is an extremely strong show. Yeah, he said that he really liked the animation, which I think, yeah, it's an acquired taste. But yeah, I feel like, you know, these man was turning to anime. Uh, good, yeah, the, good that they're they're adapting others, uh, they're adapting other medium from other countries aside from you know Japanese manga shit. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Mao Gakui no Fute Kigosha, Fantasy Magic in Schools, but still Silver Link. I think they made a lot. Of, they made a lot of anime, but I think mm, it's really rushed. Oh yeah, I read this. I, I'm reading this. <laughs> I'm reading this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm reading the manga of this version. But yeah, the, oh so so it's from a novel. That's why the manga doesn't release a lot, since it's from a novel. And hopefully they're 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 adapting it from the novel, not from the manga, since since the manga uh, is kind of slow uh, in 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 terms of release. Okay, the tyrannical demon king has been reincarnated after two thousand years. However, his suitability to the academy that educates candidates to become the new demon king renders himself a misfit. Anos Voldigort was a tyrannical demon king that eradicated humans, spirits, and even the gods, but but became bored of the terrible warfare. And reincarnated with the dreams of a peaceful world. I think I think he had an agreement with the hero that he wanted. Yeah, he wanted the hero to kill him. I think. Yeah. However, what awaited him in the reincarnation after two thousand years, where descendants who became too weak after being accustomed to peace and all sorts of magic that deteriorated to the extreme. Yeah, you're one of those typical reincarnation anime where you know the magic regresses and he. Is super powerful because he's using ancient magic. Okay, so Anos <laughs> enters Demon King, Ac Demon King Academy that gathers and educates those who are viewed as the reincarnation of the Demon King. But the Academy could not see through his true powers and ends up branding him as a misfit. 
While everyone insults him as inferior, he counts Misha, the one who is sympathetic to his cause, as his subject. I think Misha and this Misha, I think. And she's the twin of this girl. But not really. Well, you're, you're gonna see it when you watch it. So, Misha and Radical. Divine Providence, Destiny Miracles. Before my eyes, they all grovel and are eradicated. I'm gonna watch that. Okay, so up next is the Kanojo Okarishimas. Comedy Roman School Shonen. Okay. I'm gonna this is one of those harem shit. Yeah, Kinoshita Kazuya is a 20 year old failure of a college student. He managed to kiss his girlfriend once, but was, but was, but was dumped after a month. Oh, damn it. I never want to go through that again. Completely spiteful, Kazuya uses a complete certain method to date a girl. He goes to their meeting place and suddenly so hears, You're Kazuya Kuni, right? A beautiful, girl, a beautiful girl brushing her long, black hair, <laughs> hair behind her ear was there smiling at him. Her name was Mizuhara Chizuru. Something real is born after a single rental. A reckless rom-com. Ah, I know this. Yeah, it's the rental girlfriend anime. Or, or manga. I, yeah, I read the manga of this. I guess a few chapters. Uh, yeah, where, where he hired uh, this girl. And, you know, kind of downward spirals. And, you know, his grandma thought... Well, he, 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 he kind of tricked his family that... Oh, this is my girlfriend, but but he actually just hired him, and yeah, I think that's and I I, I guess you know the the pretend girlfriend shit is gonna evolve into something much more bigger. I mean, I'm gonna watch that. So up next is the Fruits Basket second season. I'm not gonna read it. I'm not gonna read the synopsis of this since I haven't watched the Fruits Basket season one. The the new Fruit Basket. Yeah, I still haven't watched the first season, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it first. But if you are if you want to read the synopsis, you should just pause it right here and read the synopsis. Okay, now we're gonna continue. Okay, now, up next is the Fugo Keiji Balance Unlimited. Yeah, it's a, yeah it, it was postponed. That's why I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, why, why does... Why are only two episodes of this shit? And, and, and I think it's really good, judging from the trailer that, I've, that I saw. Um, yeah, so yeah, it, it was postponed to July, b probably because of the corned beef nineteen shit. But we're, we're we're gonna read the synopsis anyway. Oh, it's still it's still a month. What the hell? Oh, July thirty. Oh, mm, Fugu Keiji, why you gotta do me like that, Fugu Keiji? Come on, man. Okay, we're, we're gonna read the synopsis. Uh, Detective Daisuke Kanbe has no problems using his own fortune to solve crimes, even if he assesses human lives based on their financial worth. Yeah, it's a real rich ass detective. Compassionate Harukato, Harukato sees all life as sacred and is sickened by Daisuke's materialistic ways. Can they stop butting heads and overcome their opposing worldviews for the sake of solving the toughest crimes in the precinct? Okay, yeah, Fuku Keiji, I'm gonna huh, voice crack. <laughs> is he going through puberty? No, I'm already fucking 21. <laughs> puberty, my ass. I think I was, you know, drive through, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching Fugo KG, so I, I I recommend you check it out as well. But you know, it's only two episodes, so I ha I you're probably gonna have to wait for the episode three to release, which is which is like a month away. Up next is <laughs> Monster Musume no Oisha san. What? Oh, it's oh it's different from the Monster Musume. Comedy Echi. Oh, yeah, of course, Monster Basuma. Fantasy Romance. In the town of Lindworm, where monsters and humans coexist, Dr. Glenn runs an exemplary medical clinic for monster girls with his Lamia assistant, Safi. Is this the Monster Musume shit? Or different? Whether receiving a marriage proposal by a censor injured in battle, palpating. Palpating? What? Is that even. Palpating? Oh. Okay, so it's it's a medical term. No, it's a it's it's for medical uses. That that word. Okay, palpating the injury of the mermaid or suffering suturing. Okay, man, suturing the delicate wounds of a flesh golem. Doctor Glenn performs his job with grace and confidence. But when an unsavory character seeks to steal a harpy egg, how will the unflappable unflappable Doctor Glenn respond? 
I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm probably gonna watch it for the shits and giggles, you know. Okay, up next is the Peter Grill Tokenja no Jikan. Wait, is this a fucking Isekai shit? No, no, it's not, it's not. It's just a fantasy, yeah. Comedy, ecchi, fantasy, harem, harem, romance, and seinen. Oh, so it's more of adult themed, themed, okay. Peter Grill is the most, is the world's strongest fighter, but his ascent to top came up, came with an, an unexpected consequence. Women around the world, human and monster alike, want to bear his genetically superior children. Okay, okay, that's my kind of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, typical harem plot, but I think yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kind of weak to this kind of shit, man. Come on. Since he's currently engaged to his love, is uh, to 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 the love of his life. Peter isn't too keen on his sudden popularity and will take every ounce of self-control for Peter to, to keep his hands to himself and his relationship with his paramour, yeah. In one piece in the outrageously irreverent Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time. I'm gonna watch that, yeah. I think it's a really cool plot. Hopefully the, oh, hopefully the animation is good. What works the, the Wolfsbane did? Yeah, what the fuck? Nipples in the water. Okay, up next is the Uzaki Chan Wasobitai. Uzaki Chan? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it's 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 a controversial Uzaki Chan. Well, if you don't know, I'm gonna search it. Yeah, here, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's an outrage in Japan. Well, yeah. Well, if if, if, if if you're hearing something dripping in the background, that's probably the wet women in my room. Here we go, Japanese Red Cross poster. Oh, yeah, yeah it's a Red Cross. Uh, he sure has caused more backflash. Um, Yorick has. Uh, oh, so, so, okay, so the boobiness of the Uzaki chan series is the main cause. Yeah. I guess the context matters as well, I guess. Yeah, and this. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the the main point is that the Uzaki chan doesn't reflect yeah real Japan. So that's why they kind of yeah, yeah, and then and it's Red Cross. Why would they use this series? I guess it, I guess it's popular for to the fucking weebs in Japan. I know weebs in Japan doesn't how 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 did it? Well, I guess the enthusiasts in, in Japan. But the issue is, is is over. We're gonna we're gonna read the synopsis of Uzaki Chan Wasobitai. Sakurai Shinichi's one wish is for a little peace and quiet, but Uzaki Hana. His boisterous, well-endowed, underclassman has other plans. All she wants is, is to hang out and poke fun at, at him. W with the help of her of her chipper charm, chipper charm and peppy persistence, this might be the start of a beautiful relationship. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I think it's a really cool series and it's really funny. I, I like some comedy anime. Probably one of my favorite comedy anime are there there is is the Gintama. So we're gonna move on to the next series. <laughs> Decadence by Studio Nut. <laughs> oh, I'm already 21. So Decadence adventure, action adventure sci-fi. Many years have passed since humanity has been was driven to the brink of extinction by the sudden emergence of a known life life forms Gadol. Oh, so it's an original anime. Okay. I thought I, th I thought it's from a game. That's why they're pushing these terms on our face, but it's an original thing, okay? Those humans that, that, that survive now drill 3,000 meat high mobile fortress decadence built to, to protect themselves from the Gadol threat. So it's, so, so it's like... <laughs> so it's like... Tengen Topa Guren Lagan, except they're above ground. <laughs> that is of decadence fall into two categories, gears, warriors who fight the Gadol daily, and tankers, those without the skills to fight tankers. Okay, one day Natsumi, a tanker girl who dreams of becoming a gear, meets Surly Kaburagi. Surly Kaburagi. Kaburagi. An armor repairman of decadence. 
With each chance meeting between two seemingly two opposites, with a girl in a with a positive attitude who never gave up on her dreams, and the realist who had given up on his uh, up on his will eventually shape the future, of course, of the world. Okay, I'm gonna watch that. Sounds like a cool premise. It, it, yeah, it, like I said, it, it has the Green Lagoon, Green Lagoon uh, storyline. Okay, up next is the Great Pretender: Action, Adventure, and Comedy. Okay, Masato Edamura. Is oh so it's so okay so it's Netflix Japan which we can't access because it's only on Netflix Japan. Yeah, well you can use VPNs. Masato Edamura is supposedly Japan's greatest swindler. Together with his partner Kudo, they try to trick a Frenchman in Asakusa, but unexpectedly get tricked instead. The Frenchman, who they try to swindle, turns out to be the, the Laurent Thierry, Thierry, a much higher level confidence man in control of the mafias. Edamura is yet find what fate awaits him having engaged in the Frenchman's dirty job. So it's like uh, Black Lagoon where... He got engaged in this shit. With Studio, yeah. With Studio did Attack on Titan, I think. Shingeki no Kyojin. Yeah, she with Studio, man. And Vinland. Vinland! And Cabaneri, of course. Up next is the Doku. <laughs> Action comedy Echi School Shonen Supernatural. By Project Number 9. What did they. What series did they animate? Oh, yeah. Oh. Netoge no Yome? They did that? Oh, they also did this. Okay, they okay, they're like, oh, wait, yeah, Ryu and all she got is a good anime. Yeah, they kind of like watch uh, an animating weird shit, man. Earth faces an, uh, an unprecedented threat from an invasion, or an invasion by the mysterious Kiseichu. The Kiseichu feed on human sexual energy, known as the H energy. What a lazy ass freaking naming, man. H energy. <laughs> And we can the human population. High school student <laughs> Reto Enjo is a member of the hero group <laughs> HX Hero Eros. <laughs> we fight together to save the earth from the Kisechi. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna <laughs> considering. <laughs> what a goofy ass plotline, man. Okay, up next is the Gabiate by Studio L and Launchbox. God damn it. And, uh, okay, it's an action adventure and horror. Ooh, horror anime. Okay, I I guess horror because there's some gore involved. Yeah, not 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 every horror anime is like you know jump scare and you know scary shit. Just you know it can be gore. In 2030, people in Japan are turning to different forms of monsters based on their age, sex, and race. Oh, pretty racy. But by the sex part and the race, pretty. Time. The illness is named Gibia after being rich in variety like Gibier. Man, they're 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 giving me these terms like it's fucking goddamn. A pair of samurai and ninja appear in the bra blighted, blighted. Okay, wasteland of Japan. They both travel from early Edo period, finding together with the doctor to find a cure for Gibia. Facing season attacks from Gibia and the the doctor from the Okay, it's a good. I, I think it's good post-apocalyptic kind of anime. Which I'm gonna check out if you if you want to get also check it out. Digimon, no, not gonna watch that. Hokago Table Nishi, comedy school seinen slice of life, okay? And and it's really on uh, on its episode four. Uh, I guess it, uh, I guess it's got delayed since it's releasing on July 28th. The series follows Hinatsurugi, a first year student who moves to the town by the sea. Oh, I know this. It's the it's the fishing club. Yeah. And yeah, they she kind of got scammed into joining the the club. Well, while Tsurugi is more of an indoor kid who enjoys things like arts and crafts, she is currently turned the world of fishing when an older student, Yuki Kuroiwa, invites her to be a part of a school's fishing club. Yeah, I kind of read the manga of this briefly, the 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 first chapter. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. Okay, there's not that much in below the list, so we're gonna. We're gonna proceed to the movies section of the live chart. Okay, so here are the movies that's gonna be out during the summer 2020 anime season. So the first on the list, of course, is the Boku no Hero Academia, the movie Heroes Rising. Oh, it's a Blu-ray and DVD release. So it's been released in the theaters. I think it's also been released here in the Philippines. But I didn't get a chance to watch it because it's, an, you know, it's... It, it only premiered on selected cinemas. I think one of those is two hours drive from my place, so I'm I'm not gonna. Uh, 
nah. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna fucking drive through the traffic. Todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo nada de ponerme las chanclas y el bañador. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. Eso. Okay, so we're, we're gonna read the synopsis if you haven't, you know, watched the movie yet. Class 1A visits Nabu Island where they finally get to do some real hero work. The place is so peaceful that it's mere, more like a vacation until they're attacked by a villain, of course. Normal anime plot, movie plot, yeah. Uh, and with, with an unfathomable quirk, his power is eerily familiar and it looks like Shigaraki had a hand in the plan. What a <laughs> is that a pun? <laughs> Shigaraki had a, had a hand, had a hand in the play. <laughs> but with All Might retired and seated his life in the land, there's no time for questions. Deku and his friends are the next generation of heroes, and they're the island's only hope. Yeah, but 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 this series isn't canon, I think. Yeah, for matter of is that canon? Yeah, it's not canon to the manga manga storyline. Yeah, and yes, I'm currently reading the manga of this. And you no, know, it's 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 kind of intense, if you know what I'm saying. If, for for my fellow manga readers, there, it's kind of intense, right? It's intense with the Shigaraki. Mm. But yeah, if you uh, want to watch it, the Blu-ray is gonna release on J July 14th. You can you know, check it out on Amazon or stream it on Amazon. I think they're 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 gonna stream it. Okay, up next is the Nakitai Watashi wa Neku no Kaburu. Oh, I know this. Yeah, it's on my Netflix list. Yeah, the original story about finding one's true self set in Takagai. It's the cat, right? The cat? Yeah, cat. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna check it out. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show Netflix shit. Yeah, they, 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 they can't show it. And wait, I can't show it on, uh, on OBS. They know that I'm freaking. Yes, I'm watching this, the, this Filipino horror movie because I got that. Itch to do so, but we're gonna we're gonna search it. What's the name? Is that Nakitai Watashi wo Neko? I think it's a. I think it's just the cat. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a whisker away. Yeah, it's yeah. It's on my list, and I'm currently gonna watch it if it releases. Wait, it's already out. Yeah, it's already out. And we're like, and no, we're not gonna watch it in this video. No, I'm gonna get fucking ass blasted by this company. So no, we're, I'm not gonna do that. But if you want to, you can check it out on Netflix. It, it's out on Netflix. It's called A Whisker Away. So you can do it. Yeah. So up next, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put it on watching. Up next is the Fate Stay Night Heavens Feel, the, th the third movie. Yeah, the final film, yeah. It's the other storyline, if you don't know, Fate, the Fate series, the, um, the main series, has three main canon storyline. Yeah, up next is the Sora no Aosa wa Shiru Hitoyo. I know this, I think, yeah, I, I also know this. I think, I think I already watched it. It's the, what movie is this? It's the Her Blue Sky, yeah. It's the Her Blue Sky movie. Yeah, I, 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 I already watched it. My video stopped recording, so I'm gonna. Sorry about that. The the video stopped recording because I, <laughs> I put it out of the freaking thing. Yeah, it's the Her Blue Sky. Uh, I, 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 I already watched it. It's really good if you, if you if you also watched it. Yeah, it's been released on June 9, so that's why I already watched it. Okay, so I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna read the plot for those who, who haven't watched it yet. When their parents died, Akane remained in her hometown to, to, to take care of her, of her little sister Aoi, sister Aoi. Years later, Akane's ex-boyfriend Shinosuke returns to town to perform a music festival. At the same time as the re-encounter between the two former lovers, Aoi meets Shinosuke's younger teenage self, which has traveled through time when she falls head over heels for him. The team from Moving the Anthem of the Heart returns with the surprising story full of romance and youthful longing. So basically, this guy... Oh wait, this guy is the younger version of this guy. And they're both... They're both in love with each other, but she has other priorities, which is her sister. But this sister got infatuated and in love with the younger version of this guy. Yeah. 
So if you want to, I, I, I already completed it. So if you want to watch it, go ahead. It's really good. Up next is the Bokura no Nanokan Senso. Nanokan? Nanokakan. On a day before summer vacation, 10th grader Mamoru finds out his neighbor, Aya, the girl he has long standing crushing crush on, is moving away. Oh, it's a mystery, drama, and thriller. Okay, okay. Yeah, I still haven't watched it. They just learned that they run away ho from home together for a week to celebrate their 17th birthday in town. Joined by their classmates, they shut themselves up at a former coal factory where they end up rescuing Mallet, an irregular resident from Thailand escaping from the immigration officers looking for his parents. Now their seven days war breaks out, will the teamwork and strategies fight off officers and parents who come. Oh, so it's a teen drama shit. Yeah, I think it's really good. I, 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 I like this mystery thriller movies and, and, and anime as well. Up next is the, nope, that's music, and Shonen Ai. Ah. I got it, got it. No, the, yeah, I'm not really that into fucking Yaoi and Shonen Ai. Uh, well, if it's Shoujo Ai or, or Yuri, I kind of consider. But Shonen, Shoujo, nah, I'm, not in, nah, I'm not into that, so. If you want to, just watch it. If you're into that kind of movies or, or TV series. You, 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 yeah, you're gonna watch it. Up next is the Ta... Nope, that's from a game. No, no way, no way. Saizuru Tori wa Habata... Habata Kanai. Yashiro, the leader of the Yakuza group Shinsekai. Oh, so... Ah, god damn it. Another Lupin Sansei? Okay, the film story shows Lupin... Lupin teaming up with woman named Leticia to steal the breast and di diary. A treasure that even versus Lucian Lupin could not steal. Considering, yeah. Nope. Fuck that. Why are there a lot of fucking shonen I man? <laughs> is it popular? Well, I guess it's, it's okay. So uh, another Doraemon Doraemon movie. Twin Dinosaur. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's it's gonna premiere. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing of that significance. Uh, okay. And lastly, we're gonna check out the OVAs. Up next is the Kwanji Gaucho. Gaucho. Second season. Yeah, this is the King's Avatar. If you haven't watched King's Avatar, I highly recommend checking it out. It's a really good Chinese anime. Yeah, I think it's the only Chinese anime that I enjoyed. I, I did really enjoy the other the other anime, the the Fuan Shi Shuan. I I don't know the name of the series, but it's the freaking oh this one Quan Shi Fa Shi. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really like it. The animation sucks ass, and the story sucks ass as well. So I didn't watch it. But this one, this one's really good. I recommend it. And, and it's 24 episodes, man. God damn. In the multiplayer game Glory, Yeshu, Yeshu is, is, is regarded, re regarded as the textbook and a top tier pro player. However, due to a myriad of reasons, he is kicked from a team. Yeah. He was given the choice to retire or be a coach. So he just retired. After leaving the pro scene, he finds work in the internet cafe as a manager. When Glory launches its 10th server, he throws himself the game once more, presenting 10 years of experience and memories of the past in a complete self-made weapon return. Yeah, he has the, he has that umbrella where, where it can turn into a spear, sword, or a gun. Which is pretty, pretty fucking overpowered. I'm gonna watch that if it releases. 2020. Oh man, goddamn. No specific date. Okay, there's no more. Okay, so that concludes the winter and uh, no, no summer anime, 2020 releases. Yeah, so these are the series that I'm gonna watch when, uh, when they come out. So hopefully, hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, was entertained, enlightened. Y you know, you probably found something that you'll watch, probably. So yeah, that does it for this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it's good to be back. I'm probably uploading, I'm probably gonna be uploading more videos, and I'm planning to you know do a special kind of gameplay for gameplay videos, which I'm which I've been planning since the start of the year, but I couldn't because of school and the corn beef nineteen situation. And I'm probably gonna play more fucking indie horror games, which yeah, the, uh, those things are I really enjoyed playing horror games. And I'm gonna occasionally stream on Twitch. So you can check out this link down here. Twitch.tv forward slash Silverlight underscore YT. Okay? Yeah, you can check it out. You know, I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm, I'm just gonna, 
you know, branching out. No, no, branching the, the content on YouTube, which I'm probably gonna make some highlights of, you know. I'm probably gonna play, you know, the Outlast 1 uh, Whistleblower DLC on the stream, you know. And I'm gonna make a highlight video. So if you want to check out my Outlast um, live stream, you know, w watch it uncut in the butt. You should probably check out this uh, this link that I'm putting here. And if you want, if you want to, you know, receive a shout out, shout out, shout out for the next video. You use this link, streamlabs.com. You know, with uh, whatever this link and donate the minimum amount of dollar or, or, or 50 pesos to earn a shout out from me <laughs> so shameful man so shameful but yeah anyway if, if you want to earn a shout out just use the link donate minimum of a uh, minimum of a dollar for a donation what what the shout out for what the so yeah that's for winter anime hope you guys really enjoyed and i really enjoyed it so yeah that's it yeah i'm glad, glad to be back Thanks for watching. Yeah.